Hello everybody, this is Stewie Family, and uh, I have something kind of big to say. This time it ain't about wrestling, it's about racing. Now, uh, yesterday was Father's Day, right? Of course it was. And uh, yesterday I had a pretty fun time, I was hanging out with my stepdad. But anyways, yesterday I got a new game. And it's uh, called NASCAR Online. And I got the PS2 version of it, not the PS3, because I thought the PS3 version was going to be like the NASCAR 08 version of PS3. And I got the NASCAR 08 version for PS3, and it's got good graphics and stuff, but it's really hard to drive. So I got it for PS2, you know, because I thought it would be like NASCAR 05 and 6 and 7. And, uh,. What happened was that it looks like I was right. The PS the PS3 version kind of looks like the 08 kind of. Still got that main menu where the garage is and everything. But anyways, I was playing it yesterday and they brought back that career mode that you had in 05 and 06 and 07. And uh, I don't know about 08 because I got it for PS3. But uh. I was, you know, I was playing it yesterday, and it still has, it, it, they brought back, I guess they brought back, I don't know, about 08, you know, but, um, I was playing it, I was in the wheeling series, now I'm in the Craftsman truck, and, um, while I was playing it, I was looking at the chase plates, or what it used to be called, no five thunder plates. But I was looking at chase plates, and the, there was only about, I guess, 14 of them. 14 chase plates in the game. Just 14. Only 14. In NASCAR 05, there was about 20 or 25 of them. Same thing for 06 and 07. I don't know about 08. But in uh, 09, there's only 14. And you mem and I'm really disappointed also at it. Because Dale Earnhardt Sr., once again, is not in the game. Instead, they put Richard Petty in it. Although Richard Petty hasn't been in the game, I guess, ever since 2001 or 2002. I don't know. Probably 2003. But, um, they put him back in it, and I guess decided to leave Dale Sr. out. So I'm kind of disappointed at that. I'm kind of mad at that, because they left Dale Sr. out and put Richard Petty in it. And, uh, you know, I don't understand why they couldn't put Dale Sr. and Richard Petty in the game. Have two NASCAR racing legends instead of one. Anyway, there's enough of that rant. I was, uh, also looking at the sponsors, see if they had those sponsor plates in it, because I remember in 05 and 06 and 07 that they had the sponsor plates. And 05 had a lot of sponsor plates, uh, sponsor chase plates. I'd say about 10 of them. This year, I'm also disappointed at that. Because of this year, there is only three only three sponsor chase plates they are coca cola and i think it's o'reilly i don't know for sure and all pro and that's the only ones that's in there only three everything else is already unlocked i don't you know but anyways you know, the career mode, it's kind of like 05. <clears throat> but uh, there's something new about it called License Session. And what it does, it likes, you got to do these certain tests to see if you get to a Craftsman Truck, Nationwide Series, and Sprint Cup Series. And it is really, it's kind of easy to beat the first part. But it's really hard to beat the second part. The second, the first one is just like a test session. You remember the test session thing back in 05 and 06 and 07? It's kind of like that. And after when you pass it, 
The second part is really hard. There is about 13 or I guess about 20 or 25 cars, and you gotta pass them up. You gotta make clean passes. You can't wreck. You can't get off track or else you lose points. And I think in like the Craftsman truck, you gotta get 80. And for each car you pass up, you get five minus plus five, off track minus two, wreck a car minus five, and it's really hard to do it with the physics and stuff looking kind of the physics is bad also but it's fun I don't think that makes any sense so yeah it's kind of fun um, they said no for uh, the PS2 and PS3 and 360 version it would have paint booth PS2 version doesn't have that it's still got custom car garage I guess it's just for PS3 and 360 I also heard it was for PS2, so that's a lie. And um, the weird thing is, Jeff Gordon mentors you, and he's like your agent in the game. What happened to Ace Moneymaker? Seriously, from 05, 06, and 07. I don't know about 08, but what about Ace Moneymaker? I liked him. Why didn't they make him? And just let Jeff Gordon, you know tell you what's going on and stuff like I guess Ryan Newman did in 05 I don't know so you know it is kind of a fun game but it's also you know there's something weird about the racetracks yeah California Speedway is no longer called California Speedway in the game instead it's called Auto Club Speedway I don't know why and um, Old Spice Speedway is now called Boulder Speedway. Red Ball is now called Orchard Speedway. Um, what else? A lot more traps is called by different names. And uh, it's just it's it's good. It's a good game. So if you see it, you know, you can buy it and try it out. It's kind of good. I, the only things that's wrong with it is that. And also you can't buy a team. You can't buy your own team like you could in 05 and 06 and 07. I don't know about 08 though for PS2 because I got it for PS3. But you cannot buy your own team. So, um... You can't really buy your own team. It's a really good game. If you want it, you know, you, you should go buy it. It's kind of worth $40. It's all right. And um, it's also got, the only thing I'm disappointed about it is they named tracks after races that they used to hold. There is no more car manufacturers like Dodge, Chevy, and all that. They ain't in there. Uh, Dale Senior ain't in it. And also, Blast Chase Plates. And they got rid of skill points and called them medallions. So that's the only thing that's wrong with them. And you can't buy a team. Well, that's about it for this review of NASCAR 09. See you later, YouTube.